father, Kenneth Lloyd Higgins, and then my mother, Wanda Higgins, started the camp. Dad built camp with bailing wire. We didn't have duct tape back then. <laughs> every summer here since I've been two and then um, every weekend we would come up and build and entertain people and guests. I was 12 years old when dad started camp so I've been here on and off ever since then. Music education is the heart of my father. It's the heart we have here. As he says, he would go to their level and teach them what they needed to know at that time. And he said later, he'll pass them at any time. My mom, Wanda Higgins, when dad was doing the music and hiring teachers, she was cooking, she was cleaning, she was taking care of all the kids. He was a mother to everybody and she always was able to make them feel good about who they are, no matter what the problem is, and how to go forward. She's still here, and her spirit will always be here. Being our 60th anniversary, my strongest desire is to have another 60 years with family and everybody pulling it together, because this is a special place. If we keep the same philosophy, as my dad had, I think we will always put the kids first and we will always be able to make the kids happy. If they're happy, then the whole camp's happy. That's what we look for. I can still hear mom at the concerts with the microphone saying, this camp is for children and we will keep Hummingbird Music Camp for children. And it's gonna keep on going on. This place removes technology, it removes distractions, it removes instant gratification. It allows you to be in nature. It's a really good time to get introduced to music the right way. We just want them to love music, take it back to their schools, take it back to their homes and their communities. Hummingbird has influenced the musical community in New Mexico, and they've gone on to be professional musicians in symphony orchestras all over. The campfire experience is where we gather our kids. We do a lot of funny camp songs, and that really ignites them as far as they're laughing. On the campfire, it's really a quiet moment, I believe, that camp brings to them to really just sit there and think about nothing else except for that special moment. So by the time the campfire is over, they're all laughing and hiking together up the hill, and headed to the dorms in full conversation with each other, ready to get to the dorms and settle in for the night.